Hello there, today I'm going to be showing you how to change the dial centre labels on old British telephones like these. On the left we have a telephone type 706 and on the right we have the later type 746. Look at the tops of the cases here to work out which type of phone you've got. If it's got these kind of rounded edges here, it's a 706. If it's got these points here, it's a 746. Okay, so how do we get these plastic covers off the dial labels? Well, for a start, we have to look at what type of finger wheel, which is the rotating bit here, our phone has got. Now, as built, all 746s had a clear finger wheel like this. And basically, most, if not all, of the 706s had a coloured finger wheel to match the phone like this. In this case, an ivory one, because it's an ivory phone. Now, they did get swapped around. In later years, when phones went back for refurbishment, um, the GPO and later Telecom put this type of clear finger wheel on 706s. And also, because people have made one good phone out of two that have been in bits and stuff like that after all these years, you do sometimes now find 746s with 706 finger wheels. There are also reproduction finger wheels that are a slightly different design, which are generally coloured. Um, which you can find on either type of phone, but we're not really dealing with those in this video. The original ones, the coloured ones like this, nine times out of ten, they've got quite a rounded edge to the holes here. And if you were to look underneath them, you would find usually that they're kind of hollow. They're like um, vacuum formed or something. The clear ones on the 746s are just cast out of a piece of plastic. Right, so now you've ascertained what type of finger wheel you've got, we'll tell you how to get the middle off. With these coloured finger wheels as fitted to the 706, what you do basically is you put in a screwdriver and it's got to be a screwdriver with an end that has that little wide bit. Can you see how that's got a slightly wider area just down from the point? It's got to have that kind of shoulder to it, your screwdriver, because you're going to put it in under there at about three o'clock position, underneath the dial, and then you're going to go through a little hole. So you're coming up underneath the paper inside the center here, and you're going to give it a twist like that and that will release a spring which will pop the center off hopefully now i don't know if i can do it when i'm holding the uh, holding the camera but i'll give it a go you just basically have to get this in there and give it a twist like that there you go it's popped off and fell on the floor but that is how you get the cover off and then you can just take out your paper label and you can replace it or whatever you want to do and you can see that underneath there is a metal piece and this metal plate is actually sprung loaded on this edge so when i put the screwdriver in and twist it you can see it moving this spring loaded plate which is what pops off the center label cover and that's basically how you do it now on a 746 with the clear finger wheel or if you've got a clear finger wheel on a 706 it works the same way you don't put a screwdriver in there's nowhere to put one 
all you do is you get a bit of tape put it across the center cover like that and give it a pull and it should come off that one comes off quite easily they're sometimes a little bit stiffer than that is you, you generally have to pull the tape evenly from both sides but they nearly always come off like that and again then just take the label out and change it if you want to you can also at that point then change the finger wheels simply by unscrewing this screw in the middle here or this one in the middle here the finger wheel will then pull straight off and you can change them if you want to so that is how you get the center covers off replacing them is even simpler than getting them off there's nothing fancy to it all they are is a push fit and they just clip on i'm just getting rid of the tape there off this one so all you do is just push it back on and it just fits back on like that i've not put the label back in that one because it was an old label but that is how you get them back on and you do a similar thing with the 706 one as well just push it back on and you'll be good to go again so that's how you change the dial center labels on old british telephones thanks for watching and if you want to see more old telephone and other equipment videos then subscribe to this channel Thanks. Bye.